Hi, my name is Michael. Uh, today I'll be sharing with us a little bit about some of the tools that we use for recording our meetups, videos at, for engineers at SG. I'll be sharing, sharing with you the latest tool that we have, which is set number three, which is the third uh, set that we have collected of the two of the things that we need for recording. And it is a very basic set, which has just a frame grabber as well as a video capture. So the video capture is meant to capture the person who is speaking and the frame grabber is meant to capture what is happening on the presenter's laptop. So uh, this is the most scaled down version of the tools that we have. Uh, I hope it gives you a glimpse of the, what we track, what we're doing and how we, we hope to achieve it. So set number three is kind of basic. So if, first of all, it contains a extension cord, which we see, which you can use to plug to the wall socket and to get power to our equipment. Second thing that we have is the tripod. So the tripod is required to you mount our camera on it. And the third item in the list is basically our bag of tricks. This bag contains all the extra equipment that we need for uh, frame for stuff like our frame grabber uh, adapters for the for the different types of uh, output from presenters' laptops and our video splitters. Uh, we'll go through that in a short while. So here we have the things that are inside the bag of tricks. So we have a camera, which is our Q4 HD camera. This is used to capture our speaker as they're speaking. right? So this is how it looks like. And we have a frame grabber. This is the Avermeter H Live Gamer Portable. This is used for recording the speaker's laptop display. We have the USB cables that came with the cameras as well as the frame grabber. These are all, all labelled with the, the, the colours. So the blue goes to the camera and green goes to the frame grabber. We have a couple of HD, HDMI cables. These are long ones, 5 metres each. And a short one that came with the frame grabber. We have convert a bunch of adapters. These are our HDMI to VGA converter, as well as a mini dis mini display to HDMI converter. Right. We have a View HD uh, HDMI splitter that takes in one input and goes has two outputs. So one of the outputs go into the projector screen, and the other output goes into our frame grabber. The power adapter for the frame grabber and power source, this is meant for a cow camera. And of course, audio extension cables, which are used for extending the audio feed. So first thing we, s we do is to set up the splitter. So we hook up the splitter. Near the projector, one of the cables which will be used for to be connected to the laptop, they would have to be one of the longer ones. Sometimes at the venue, they actually have their own cables, uh, HDMI cables, so we don't really need to use ours. But for the for the, those places where we don't, they don't have it, we will provide and we can plug that into. Uh, this will go into the laptop, which is labeled here input. So from here, one of these guys, one of the outputs, will go to the to the projector. And the other one will be, will be connected to the frame grabber. So I'm connecting a short cable to my frame grabber grabber. On the frame grabber, there is an input. So I plug it into the input of the frame grabber. And the frame grabber itself has a HDM has a USB cable. So USB cable plugs into this, and this plugs into the laptop which will be our nerve center where we use to con control all the recording. Okay, so the other part will be connected to the other cable and this will go to the projector itself. In today's case, we're not going to use any projector so we don't really need that right now but we basically need this to get the signal. So the next thing we do is hook up our camera. So this is the Q4 camera. So we uh, we have assembled the tripod, we have unfolded the tripod and uh, we have assembled and screwed on the Q4 camera onto this. At the same time, we also plug in our USB. This uh, USB connector will be plugged to our power adapter, which will be used to power this uh, camera. 
during the recording process, so they won't drain. Any, you will not drain any of the batteries on the on this on the camera itself. On the camera itself, I will also plug in the audio cable because we'll be capturing audio from the camera, and we'll be using the audio here to feed into our Ava Media screen grabber so that we can synchronize the video late uh, in post production. Right, so we're going to plug this in. We may need the extender cable, we may not, but uh, in this today's case it's kind of short, short table, so we don't need to actually set up the we actually need to set up the extension cable. So the extension cable goes into the input audio input of the Ava Media. So if you look at Ava Media itself, there's an audio input, so we plug that into the input, and now we're ready to start recording uh, a laptop and a presentation. So here the camera is turned on and it's, and it's now able to capture a video. So the camera will be capturing the video separately from the frame grabber. The audio feed of the camera is now fed into the Q4, into the Evermedia Live Gamer Portable. And from there, the audio is captured in US, through the USB to, uh, onto our laptop so that we can capture the audio together with the frame that is being shown right now. So the Ava Media Live Game Portable is now plugged into uh, the, the, the recording laptop. So we're running a software called Rec Center. So Rec, Ava Media Rec Center will be the main controller. So you see it blinks blue while it's loading up the screen. And next I can I should be able to click on ready and I will be able to, should it be able to see the laptop screen as it appears. So right now as you can see, I can now look at the screen of the Mac over here. So the Mac on the left is actually the presenter's screen. So whatever he does on the screen, I should be able to see a copy of it on the laptop. like so, right? So with this, I can actually now record whatever is happening on the, on the presenter's screen. It's important to start the recording of the Q4 camera uh, together with the recording of the screen so that we can synchronize the audio later on. So here I have turned on the recording on the Q4 camera. So it's looking at me as I make the presentation, right? I'm showing the Engineers SG website. So at the same time as I do recording, I will also be recording on the screen. And I should say, hello world, this is Michael Cheng. So I'm sharing with you now the Engineers SG website. So this is basically how it looks like right now. When you're done, you can click stop. And then you can see the recording. And you should say, hello world, this is Michael Cheng. So I'm showing you now the Engineers SG website. So this is basically how it looks like right now. So there we have it, the video setup that we have for engineers.sg. I hope this video will show you a little glimpse of what we have and the gear that we use. And I hope it also inspire you to, um, in, to do the same thing for your meetups, to basically record your meetups. You can get us involved or you can just get the gear that I have shown you today um, to record your meetups. And with doing so, I hope you can also capture all the moments and the uh, things happening in your meetups. So that's all I have right now. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.